a game that I was wanting to play for a long, long time because I saw it on Tumblr a long time ago and I was never able to play it. So let's see if I can play it with a controller and if not, I will play with Kibara Mouse. Kibara Mouse it is. The game is called Soul Boy and it was made by Kalabura on Tumblr. So if you like the art you see on the game, go follow Kalabura on Tumblr because, oh my god, the art in this game and the art they made is really something else. Oh boy, another one? Jeez, what is that? Like 10 in one week? Eh. Yeah. So, uh, hey, welcome to the point. You shouldn't be here, but you probably figured that out by now, huh? Look, I'm just a greeter. I can send you back. So you might be as well hippity hop through the door behind me and get a head start on. Uh, well, uh, something probably. It's your journey, not mine, but you seem kind of different from the usual souls, so I pick up around here, so maybe, maybe you'll have better luck than the others. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Oh, go away. Go away. Can I talk to you again? Ugh, oh, man, I'm tired. Being the greeter is hard work, you know. Maybe one day I won't have to do this job. Trying to keep you lost outboilers out of trouble. Just that chance, unless a miracle happens. Ugh, oh, man, I'm tired. Yep. Yeah. Only two texts. But hey, we saw something a lot of people wouldn't see because a lot of people don't stop and talk to the characters a second time. The pier is closed until further notice. Okay. I thought so the boy had music and sounds, but it's not playing any music or sounds. Maybe there is no music or sounds. Can I check your boxes? No? No? What about you? Uh, what to do with a drunken sailor? What to do with a drunken sailor? What to do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Throw him more over the bow? Over the bow? And drown him, throw him over the bow and drown him, throw him over the bow and drown him early in the morning. Yeah, can you finish the song? What to do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Yeah, the only thing this guy does is singing the song. Hmm. Is it because it's on full screen? No. Maybe there is no music. Maybe there is nothing. There is no sound to the game. I thought there was sound. Pier is closed. Okay. So, no sound it is. Can I go through here? Yes, yes I can. Ooh, creepy. Can I get in here? I can. Nice. Uh, hi. Where are you? A new soul arrives. But it is strange. You wonder yet you're not lost. <laughs> Early in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes, that's what I want to see. <laughs> uh, you wonder, yet you are not lost. You have not fallen from Taron's boat, nor slipped out of Death's embrace. How did you get here, little one? You should seek the town beyond. Perhaps someone there can help you. If someone can help me get the sound on the game, that would be nice. Stay safe, little one, be at peace. Or not. 
Nothing else. Okay. Oh, nothing. Oh, there is more void in here. Nice. I'm scared. It's so dark in here. Someone told me I'd be okay. If I just kept going forward. But there's nothing, nothing out there. What if I get lost? This flower seems much safer. Maybe I'll follow them instead. And what if I don't want to follow the flowers? I know this is a hint, but I want to explore and see everything. Oh, there's nothing else to this room. There is another person to this room. Cold. So cold. So cold. Okay, so follow the flowers. Ooh. Huh. I'm not lost, technically. Just out for a walk, yeah? N not lost. Yeah. Whatever you say. So, follow the flowers. Oh, hi! I've seen your face on Tumblr before. <laughs> I'm glad to see you've made it. This place has been filled with so much sadness. Anger, confusion, it's delicious. <laughs> Welcome to the void, girly. We are going to have so much fun. Whether you want or not. Yeah! <laughs> And game over? No? No? The entrance is gone. Interesting. Let's try to go back to the first room. Hi. What happens if I wander over here? There is no monsters in here. Only void. Oh, so yeah, just follow the flowers. But the shadow also said, if only I walked on a straight line. So maybe I have to go on a straight line to the right. You just jump out of the chair, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, Spanish Inquisition, <laughs> oh, you know the rest. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. And it's really funny because now everyone expects them just because of the meme. Oh, I can't believe this. My ring fell off while I was swimming. I need to get it back, but... Where do I even begin to look? Oh, James, I'm so sorry. Maybe somewhere with water? Is this water, even? I can't believe this. My ring fell off while swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Ooh, this is water. Now we're in water. Hey. Don't mind me, just chilling. Are you peeing on the water? Hey, don't mind me, just chilling. Go away. Okay, we will let that guy pee on the water. Ooh, there's something in there. Maybe it's the ring. This sprite seems to have nothing, <laughs> to have something in its mouth. But it refuses to give it to you. Perhaps you can find something in a crate. To make it trade. Wait, I can check the crates? The crate is filled with mud. How is it even floating? Chilling in the water, it must be freezing. But <laughs> For fuck's sake, I hate that. The inside is dry, but empty? On the water. How? Another crate. There is something in here. You obtain drastic coins. Nice. What about this one? There is nothing inside. Okay. Uh, what about this final crate that I didn't check? Nothing. Only the crates in the water have things. Maybe the sprite now that I look at it, it looks like two eyes and a smile. You toss the coins towards it, and the sprite eats them up. It chews for a second and then spits a ring at your hand. Nice. You obtained a silver ring. Nice. I got a ring. 
Is the swimmer moving? No, it, you didn't move. Don't mind me, I'm just chilling. Okay, keep peeing on the water. It's getting warmer. Here, you have the ring. You hand over the ring. That's... I can't believe you found my ring. Thank you so much. This is all I have left of James. He was... He is very dear to me. But he was a lost soul. One day, he left to explore outside of town. To look for some clue to how he and the other lost souls got here. And he gave me this ring as a promise. That he will come back, but he never did. I'm sorry that's a lot to just jump on you at once. Thank you for so much help. You're welcome. Really, thank you. Nice. We did a nice thing. Hi. I don't know who you are, but I don't want to step on your eyeballs. That one is kind of different compared to the others. There is more flowers over there, but I want to talk to the eyeball monster. Is it okay to call you eyeball monster? Eyeball person? Oh god, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop it. Okay. You don't like being looked at. Maybe you should get out of the room full of eyeballs that are looking at you constantly. Can I go over here? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, it's just an eyeball sitting there. I cannot talk to the big eyeballs, but it seems that the small ones have dialogue. Not all of them. Okay. Whee! Nothing. What about you, little one? Stop staring! Stop staring! Okay. And you? Nothing. So, the only thing I can do is go out. Nothing on the eyeball of room. So there's only one way to go left, and it's right, actually. Oh, more sprites on the fucking mud. <laughs> okay, creepy. <laughs> okay. The sprite sticks its tongue out. Mm. These sprites are harmless, but they do unnerv me a bit. And they are kind of rude. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. They they are kind of rude. Flower people. Oh, hey. I didn't think we'd see some, anyone else out here. We're collecting boy flowers. They, are mostly, they mostly grow around here. And I always make sure to pick a few to bring back to town. Here, you can have one too. You obtained a boy flower. Thank you. What about you, tall guy? Everyone deserves flowers. Okay, thank you. Tee hee hee, flowers are great. Flowers sure are great. Let's try it. Um, offer the flower to someone else. Sprite takes the tongue out. Did I talk to you? No. Maybe for the eyeball person? What about you, the not lost one? Not technically lost. Can I go over here, which I wanted to check? Maybe the actual way is only go on a straight line right, venturing into the void. Can I not look at you by giving you a flower? Oh god, don't look at me, don't look at me, stop it. I want to give you a flower. Okay, we cannot give them a flower. Sad. Sad day, sad, sad day. 
Okay, let's go back to the flower people and see if there's something else to do there. And if not, we venture into the void. Can I go past you? Because it looks like it, but I can't. Okay, so the only way left is venturing into the void. I know the game is called The Boy, but the absolute silence on the game. I, I was actually expecting the game to have some music or something or ambience, not just be full void. I mean, it goes with the theme of the game. It's weird that flashy effects when the screen change. It's a mix of sweet child memory and Vietnam flash. Yeah, especially when the flash is too long. I know what you're talking about because I've played on a Game Boy. Hey look, it's the town. Nice. The distance between the swamp and the town isn't really that big. But to some, it's overwhelming. Maybe they just need that little confidence boost. Can I give them a flower? Can I give the person that was at the entrance of the swamp trying to go to the town the flower so they can go to the town? Wait, you made it across? And came back too? It wasn't that bad. Maybe, maybe I can cross through the dark. I will cross through it. Thank you for the encouragement. Nice. Good to see that you are going to make the effort to go there. Cold, so cold. I'm a good person. This is the second good deed of the day. Boop. And uh, we're back in town. Just give me a sign. Any kind of sign, please. If I get a sign, I will give it to you, but I don't have a sign. It's locked. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Really small for a town. Him <laughs> with a stop sign. Wow, the violence. Nothing, nothing on the crate. Can I sleep? Sorry, I'm walking all over your bed. Nothing on the book, nothing in here. You know, the boy isn't meant for the dead. Sometimes souls just get lost here on their way to wherever they go. There is not many of them around the town or swamp. But be careful if you keep going east. The boy's plenty weird itself. And the longer a soul stays here. Well, you'll see what I mean. The more you lose yourself. There are no signs here. The distance between the swamp and the other thing. I'm going to... Check once again with the guy at the entrance of the swamp to see if it's gone. And then we keep going east. You move. Thank you for the encouragement. Okay. It's up to you now if you use it or not. Oh, the town is bigger than I thought. I used to take walks to the swamp, but not anymore. I saw some lost soul that had turned into an eyeball. Freaked me out, something fierce. I'm staying where it's safe here. Maybe they can tell me something about the eyeball, and I can help them. Nothing. Nothing I can do here. What about the bookcase? Nothing here. 
Ah, uh, nothing on the crates. Just an empty old house. I know there is an order for adjectives on English, but I don't really care about the order of the adjectives. Check all the beans you want, we'll never give you an item. <laughs> nice throwback at GD games where you check the fucking garbage beans and they gave you garbage or items. See that? See what I mean? Why is it talking? What? The... the bean? Are you the guy from the previous house that was telling me that everything gets weirder the more east you go? Maybe that's the guy from the previous house. I kind of wish there was more to do in town. I guess I'll just, uh, walk around this grass patch for a while. You do that, kid. You do that. Oh, sprites! Oh, hi. This looks weird, doesn't it? Listen, they just showed up one day. Ate all my furniture, my wallpaper, and the light bulb too. <laughs> but still, I can bring myself to get rid of them. They are endearing, in a way. They don't talk, they just laughed. They are just laughing in the house they ate. Dude, are you sure this is okay? Are you? Are you okay to live like this? Should I leave you here? Sprites are harmful, just a bit mischievous. Okay. Okay. Hey, Ori, welcome to the stream, again. Good to see you. Oh, the entrance to that house is out of bounds. That sucks. What about this house? It's locked. Nice. Hey, you new here? You're not a lost soul, are you? Either way, you should probably go talk to the mayor. Now I'm here to stay. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. It's always good to have friends on chat. Speaking of friends, Adri subscribed now, so we are six. Yay! Go talk to the mayor. Please tell me you're a crow. Tip tip. Oh, it's a fucking chicken. You? Are you a crow? Peep peep. No. Another chicken. Sad, dude. <laughs> Final one to say, sad, you. <laughs> now that's the crow. Yeah, that one is the crow. Only a crow would answer like that. <laughs> oh my god, Kalabura! Oh my god, that is so funny. Kalabura, you you are killing me here. You are killing me here. <laughs> Maybe they are all crows, but the other ones were trying to copy chickens. Hey, hey, careful where you step. My wife's taking a nap. The long limbs going all over your house is your wife? Don't uh, tell anyone she's here, okay? Okay. Oh, at least you cannot walk over the arms of the wife of this person. Uh, bye. Something tells me that if I keep going east, I will continue the story, so I want to check the east area. Oh, I cannot check the entrance to the house? Oh, that sucks. Why are you trapped in there? How do I how do I talk to you? Is there a way to talk to you? No. There are fences and no way to go down there. What? 
weird. Where would you? The scouts and the researchers beyond the town are way braver than I am. This game ha does not have music. The game has nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, I'm just going to do something in here. Because I, I like the game as it is, but the complete silence is creeping me out, so... Uh... Uh, I guess this. Better than nothing, I guess. I hope it doesn't become really, really really creepy or really intense horror music because I want ambience. It's getting louder than I expected. So I'm going to lower it a tiny bit. Ooh, creepy music. I can't imagine spending all that time in the... in the what? Soul Void. Even if we are affected by the void uh, transforming properties. Transforming properties, not transforming. So, if you spend too much time on the boy, you become something else. Like the creepy eyeball person that we met. Did you know our boy isn't the only one? There is another boy called Ubiquitous. Apparently, it's filled with all types of weird monster, and it's supposed to have lost souls. Everything here is kind of green, but everything there is kind of orange. I wonder if there is a red boy or a blue boy or a purple boy. Interesting. So, is Ubiquitous another game by Kalabura? Some concept for my story Ubiquitous from April 2019. Nice. Yeah, I saw the concept art, but I didn't I didn't see anything else of this. I, I thought that Kalabura left this project behind. But yeah, this is what Kalabura does. This is their their drawing style and I really like it. I really wish they did finish Ubiquitous, because it looks like an interesting game. If um, You should probably follow them on Tumblr uh, or Twitter, Audi, because their, their art style is really interesting. I don't remember how I found them, but it, it was cool finding, finding their Tumblr. Why are you looking in other people's traps anyway? Because sometimes there are treasures in there. Someone's trash is another person's treasure. Or so I've heard. Can I really not talk to this person floating in here? Come on, I want to talk to you. Mm. I'll leave you for now. Crow? Ka! Ka! Yeah, this is a crow. Good to see you. There is the second crow. We had the sad you crow and the, the ka ka crow. Some of the birds here learn how to speak. I wonder how crows do that every now and then. Was that the game or was that the 
creepy music on the background. No, it is the creepy music on the background. Okay. Loud, loud, loud. Flowers! We used to have a bath, a bowman, who transported supplies and letters between the town and the outposts in the beyondlands. While he was that lost soul, eventually the boy got to him. Now he just sits in the boathouse singing the same song over and over again. Oh, the drunken sailor guy. We met him. Yeah. We used to have a boatman. Now, excuse me, but I'm going to check your trash. No items here, just garbage. Just garbage. Nothing with the flower. Our son works in the Beyondlands. If you happen to see him, could you please give him this letter? You obtain mother's letter. Oh. Now we have a flower that we cannot give anyone just yet. And a letter to deliver. Beep beep. Nothing. Nothing. I tried to keep a sprite as pet, but it was way too much work. Birds are much nicer anyways, and they don't try to eat my stuff. So sprites eat anything. The first one we met was coins, and some on the town are... are... I'm trying to sleep, have a nice rest of the stream, have fun later. Bye Alphonse. Bye Trottle, get a good night of sleep. Getting up at 4 a.m. must be really hard, so sleep well, and I will see you around. Nothing over here, just a fence. Okay, so we go back to town, and we go to the right, we go east to meet the mayor. Sad, dude. Are you the mayor? Sometimes handbinds grow over the entrance. To the soul void separating our town from it, it takes the scouts a bit of time to cut them down, but I don't mind. It's not like I'm going out there myself. Hmm. Good of you to cut the binds. It's locked. Mayor's office or the farm. If you keep going right, you have the soul void and the swamp to the left. Okay, so let's check the office. Nothing there. Looking for the mayor. She's just up ahead. Nice. I don't have to wait or anything, just go there and talk to her. Okay, I'll go there and talk to her. Hi, you're the first person that looks like a person and not a shadow. Hello there. I'm Ewan McGregor. I assume you are the newcomer. World travels fast around here, and you've caused quite the buzz. This is what I was waiting for. I knew this happened in this game, because I've seen the drawings Kalabura made for this game, and I was waiting for this exactly. God, I love their art style. I love how Kalabura draws. Ask the mayor. <clears throat> I welcome to you to our town. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but unfortunately I don't think I can answer them. We're still not sure why souls are drifting here, let alone an outboider like you. All we know is that eventually lost soul turn into something terrible, something not like themselves. It's been some time since they showed up, and some are still normal but Many leave town to seek answers. I wish I could say they move on, but we know that's not the case. Also, this game reminds me a lot of the French game, an, an indie French game called Off, 
that I never finished on the channel, I started playing that on, on the YouTube channel and I never finished it, I have to replay it, get to the point where I was and finish it because it's a really nice indie game. We have outposts in the Beyondlands and our scouts bring back horrific news. The Beyondlands have become a dangerous place and some locals have started calling it the Soul Void instead, given the last of that wonder through its shifting darkness. It is my job to, first and foremost, to keep the, my people safe, okay? So I've forbidden any non-approved person from going to the Soul Void. If you wish to find a way home, the Soul Void might be the only way to go. You're welcome to stay here, but I understand if you decide to pursue the Soul Void. Look for our outposts if you need guidance. Perhaps they can help you more than I. I'll let you I let know the guard that you may pass. And one more thing, there is a soul you should be aware of. Our scouts call it the Grim. A giant horrible face with teeth and white eyes. Yeah, I think I met the Grim already. It seems to carry malicious intent. So be sure to stay away if you see it. Uh, wait, you've seen it already? But if you came from the swamp, that means that's worrying. I've never seen that... Uh, it's never been seen that close before. Thank you for letting me know. Be careful out there. Yeah, there is also a, a, a eyeball person asking everyone not to look at them. And that's not on the soul boy, that was on the swamp. And if you excuse me, I'm going to check on, the, on your trash. Nope, still empty bunk. I swear to god, there is going to be one trash can that is going to have something useful in it. I'm sure there is going to be one. To the farm we go. Yeah, we have hell cows and a hell chicken and a hell farmer. All of the town's food is grown on this here farm. We got boiled cows, boiled pigs, boiled chickens, boiled fruits, boiled uh, veggies, boiled um. We got a lot of stuff that starts with a boiled. I have to remember that the music is not connected to the game because it's scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> Do they got yeah voice? Nice question. <laughs> I think they said void, but yeah. Yeah boy. <laughs> it's it's a period of the normal yeah. All of the town's food is grown here, okay. Void Void, we have Void Void. If you don't like the usual Void, you can have the Void Void. Stop that! Stupid YouTube music! In place of calling Maui to be called Maui again? Maui? Also, thank you. Why Maui? God, I hate this creepy music I chose. Moana. I haven't watched Moana. I have to watch it. Boy, I sure do love my job. I get my own little post here. And the work is just super easy. Keeping townsfolk safe at home. And keeping undesirables out. Yep, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boys, you do love my job. I'm going out. All right, buddy, you are all clear. Hope you know what you're doing, what you're in for. Why did I choose horror music? Why did I choose horror music? Yeah. Oh, come on, Grim, stop it. 
Hi. You must watch it. I love that movie. I I mean to watch it, but I I never got the chance, and I want to watch it because I want to watch Moana more than I want to watch Frozen. To be honest. So you are going into the Soul Void all by yourself. You've seen it three or four times. You can do an amazing summary, the rock being awesome for 90 minutes. That is a more than valid reason to watch Moana, then. What do you think you'll find? Help? A way home? The answers you seek? Well, guess what? Many have tried before you, and they all failed. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and try, Gertie. Try and fail and try and fail. I can't wait to watch you fall. Stumble, wither, and breathe. Good luck out there, Gertie. <laughs> and gone. And I'm on a maze now, with hands on the ground. Oh. Oh, stupid dream. So this is the void. Hi. Can I interest you in, in a flower? Can I give you a flower? No? Who, who are you? I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. You want? What? You just want? I want, I want, I want, I want. And there's a giant hand. It's disturbing how good you do that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty laughed. I can do it better, but I don't want to be really loud. Where, where am I? Where am I? Oh god, I'm lost, I'm lost. I was going to say the same thing. Oh, thank you guys. You, you are too nice to me. Just follow the flowers, I didn't want to follow the flowers just yet, I wanted to check the, the right side of this. Or I could follow the flowers, I know that going east is what I have to do, so I'm going north first. More hands and more flowers. Cool. Anything here I can do? There are two hands together, that is different. Did you know that if you have <laughs> Alphonse goes who? <laughs> no, but everyone in here, they grasp for something that they cannot reach. The flower? Can I give them the flower? Oh, I cannot give them the flower. That sucks. Everyone deserves flowers. You bastards. But yeah, uh, everyone in here knows what uh, what Prime is, and you think everyone is a subscriber except Ori, but she knows about Prime, so I don't have to explain to you what Prime is. In fact, the bot the bot already did it, so I don't have to do it. I cannot go left. Okay. What about the giant hand? Nothing to do. This game is way longer than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Streamlabs wants a D to no battle. Oh no. It's always at my fingertips. But I can never hold it onto it. Happiness, peace. Why can't I have them? Okay, bye. Handbinds block your way. Oh, if only I had something to cut them. Not enough. Not enough. It's not enough. Okay, bye. Is that a cat made of vines? <sighs> I just want something pretty. Something pretty. <laughs> Streamlabs versus Adri. <laughs> I'm hopeless. Oh no. <laughs> Du -du 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 duel is that so bad why can I feel pretty can I give you a flower you offer them a void flower 
Ah, for me, really? For me, so pretty. Never felt pretty before. So nice, so nice. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah. Uh, so pretty, so pretty. You're welcome. Weird vine cat. The vines on the north are not gone yet. Have we made a cat happy? I've seen you before on Tumblr. Did you know vampires don't reflect on mirrors not because they do not have souls but because the old mirrors were covered by silver? Nothing matters, just go back. No one cares, just give up. Life is hard, keep pushing forward. Three different messages from three different people. Nothing different if we talk to them. A second time. And more binds in our way. Cool. God, I love the designs on this game. I cannot talk to the people drowning. Of course I can't. The sprite sticks its tongue out at you. Oh, good to see you. And you again. Remember me, little one? I am a part of the void. Bound to its water that nonsensically flow through the land. I know this to be true, little one. The soul void is not all tortuous. It pulls from the heart, the mind and the soul. The third is the one positive friend on the group that keeps everybody going. Oh, yeah. We all have a friend like that. I try to be that friend when I can. Even though I'm really negative. It sees the good, the bad. But it often feels as if the bad stays longer than the good in our minds. So the boy takes from it more easily. Do not forget the good, little one. Hold on to the lights. Good. Me three, me two. <laughs> me one. <gasps> Stay safe, little one. Be at peace. I'll try to. Thank you. Nothing I can do for them. For now. Oh, cool. What are you? Who are you? Better question. Oh, this is unexpected. <laughs> I need to make the <gasps> gasp uh, redeemable. An outboider. A human. A human but not a lost soul. Human. This isn't very good, is it? The stranger mutters something and writes a note in his book. Oh god, I've seen you before, yeah. Pardon, let me introduce myself. I've forgotten my real name, so you can call me the Seeker. Ansem? The Seeker of Darkness? Is that you? I seek answers, not darkness, but you can call me Ansem if you want. I just like you. More importantly, I'm trying to help others. The lost souls here. I've been doing research on this place, its residents and its displaced souls, so most of my time is spent here, in the soul void. It's an odd unsettling place, but I endure it for my research. You see, I have a theory, and you may call it even a game theory. The seeker pauses. Would you mind if I put a hand on your shoulder? I can read emotions that even you may not be aware of, but only through physical contact. Doing this could validate my theory, and my worst fears. Thank you, Nea, for the hydration. 
This game requires a lot of talking, so I appreciate that. After a second of hesitant thought, you give a nod and the seeker places a hand on, gently on your shoulder. Almost immediately, his eye grows wide with shock. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I understand why you're here now. How you are here even. This is bad. This is very bad. I... Okay, okay, listen to me. If we work together, we can... Yeah, something tells me that... Not so fast, Seeker! You've been a pain in my sight. Even ever since you showed up. I've entertained your pathetic research for long enough. It's time I force you to give up. And you, girly, I'm not done with you yet. We've barely even started. Hey, 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 the bear pants were from the last game. Go away. The door is that way. The play date's over, you worms. Say goodbye. <laughs> And goodbye. Dot dot dot. And the fucking bastard teleported me again. Of course. Of course the goddamn green teleported me. I might be a bird. But I can be a scout too. Cheat tip. So dude. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. I mean, laughter is contagious, so I, I get why, but seriously? Sorry. Do I know the Seeker? I've seen him a few times, always running around the soul void, writing in those books of his. He left one in this outpost, but I haven't looked through it. With how often he goes out there, I'm afraid his, note, his notes carry like Deep boy, bad luck, curse vibes. <laughs> that was a mouthful. At least his uh, hat's pretty neat. Cool. To take a peek at the Seeker's notes, after talking to lost souls around town, I've discovered one common thread. They can't remember who they, uh, how they died, but they can recall strong emotions attached to the event. She surprised me so much that I forgot we were, you were speaking English. Nah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> uh, strong emotions attached to the event. Okay. Mainly sadness, anger, confusion, and fear. Perhaps these unresolved emotions have tied them to this unearthly plane. No, sometimes hard to... Sometimes hard to discern... Locals from Lost Souls by physical appearance only. This has led to a handful of uncomfortable exchanges. So, the mayor. The mayor is. a white sprite. So, I'm assuming that the mayor is a local and all the other. Sprites that are darkness, that are transparent, with the white outline, are actually the lost souls. Because every white sprite that I talked to had something interesting to say, and they said that they were not lost. But the other sprites, on the other hand, they might be lost souls. Yeah. Do not get out of here before talking to everyone. Oh. Thank goodness you're awake. One of our scouts found you while he was clearing away some handbinds. I would scored you back to town, but the binds have grown too thick over the path. Even we can cut through them. I think you might be stuck here for a while. We all might be. Hmm, that sucks. Do you do you think hardbinds? feel pain, because the sap they use kinda looks like blood. I mean, you are cutting a living creature, so they might feel some kind of pain.
But it's weird of you to think that they feel pain because it looks like blood and not because it's a living creature. Hey, glad to see you're okay. When I found you, I wasn't sure if you were still um, with us. Mom and dad must be worried sick. Huh? You have something for me? Yep, a letter. You hand the scout the letter. And he reads it over. Ha! Huh. Of course mom would be concerned that I'm not eating enough. That says like her. That says he's proud of me for keeping the town safe. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten about me out here. I hope I can see them again soon. Thank you for giving me this. It never hurts to help. Time to check more this place. Speak a lot, 11k messages. <laughs> I think Terra uh, I think Terra has more messages than you have in all time. I'm not sure about it, but I think he does. Let me check. Uh, messages, messages, messages. Uh, all time. Yep, Terra is winning with 23,000 fucking messages. He talks a lot. And I really appreciate it. It's always good to have you here. Back south we go. Oh, we've been here. Nice. Not enough. It's not enough. Do you have anything new to say, Cat? So pretty, so pretty. He's our Chihuahua. Yeah, he sure is. So I'm not as far away as I thought I was. The grass for something they cannot reach. Nothing here, so I have to keep going east. Oh, the binds are gone. Nice. Anything new to say? It's useless. Give up. Nope. It's futile. Give up. Nope. It's awful. Fight anyways. <laughs> it's awful. Fight anyways. <laughs> I mean, it's awful. Let's fight anyways. Why not? That is a nice message. Hi. Stay safe, little one. Be at peace. Okay, I'll try. But first I have to check if I can meet uh, the Seeker again. Or the Seeker is gone. Oh, fuck. There is no trace of the Seeker left except for his hat. Also, the creepy music just did a Sink! Tling! And I hate it. I have to leave. Thanks for the amazing stream and keep rocking. Thank you for coming to the stream and subscribing. Adri, you are the best. Hope I will see you around. You decide to pick it up for uh, safekeeping. You obtained the Seeker's hat. Nice. I wonder if I can give it to the scouts or if I have to keep it myself. Because one of the scouts, maybe if you don't get the hat, the scout that was saying that he liked the the hat will keep it for themselves and we have to talk to them. I don't know how much time Kalabura put into this game, but man, it's way longer than I was expecting it to. Like, way, way longer. And I love it. I, I'm not going to complain about it. There is no way to save? Is the only thing? You I know the seeker, blah 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 blah. The hat is pretty neat. Okay. Uh the only thing would be that that there is no way to save, so you have to play it on one go, but other than that is really awesome. A new place. And plant people. Yay, plant people. 
Will you stream until you finish it? I'll try to? I mean... I have like 20 more minutes to stream, so if I don't finish it by then, I will leave it where I leave it, replay everything, and the next time I play, we will be where I left it. Do, do you know how to get back to town? I shouldn't be here. Should I be here? I know how to get back to town, now that, now that you mention it. Must plant more handbinds. Okay. So you are the one leaving the handbinds, everyone. I mean, I could always leave it here, and if you want to know the ending, you can play the rest for yourselves, but... Handy hands. Yeah, handy hands. Itchy, itchy! Oh god, it's itchy! I hate it! It itches everywhere! Oh! Mouths and tongues. That is just wonderful. And a mouth person. <laughs> Great, and the teeth coming from the ground. You obtain a discard tooth. Do I want to enter that mouth? No, I don't. Okay. I am assuming that I can only go there. Can you please get out of the way? Use a hand to scratch it? <laughs> please get out of the way. Please, I need to get out. Can you please step to the side, please? Thank you. Cannot talk to that guy there. So, here. Oh, teleportation. I hate when all games did this. There's another tooth in there. Hmm, what are you? <laughs> you get used to the taste of enamel and nerve after a while. Give it a try, or better yet, give me your pearly whites. Can I give you the teeth? Tooth? Just tooth? No? So this is the tooth fading. For for anyone that didn't know what the tooth fading looks like, this is the tooth fading. And you will get your tooth and your teeth and everything, pretty much. You will open your mouth and rip everything out. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> I hate thinking about that because now I'm going to have nightmares about it. Do you obtain this card too? From my first few trips into the soul void, I've hypothesized that it forms itself from aspects of those who have wandered it. Latent emotions and anxieties build uh, the world around them, and in many cases it creates their own personal hell, or perhaps twisted fantasy. I have seen all manner of upsetting things, and I shudder to think what the soul boy could pull from me. Best not to dwell on it. Note, low souls with similar patterns tend to congregate in one area. Some souls are lucid, while others are barely intelligible. Perhaps linked to the how long they've been here. Probably. <laughs> oh cool, the, the bitey person. Another tooth? I love this area, the design of this area is really nice. My teeth. Keep falling out. 
all over the floor. Grow back, fall out. Grow back, fall out. Oh, that sucks. That must be the nightmare of someone that has teeth problem. Someone must have that nightmare at least once of having teeth growing on your mouth and falling and growing again and falling. Sorry, I, I should probably stop saying those things before someone gets nightmares. Teeth, teeth, they are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... I can't remember the rest. Yeah, they are good for the heart, not the memory. The carrots were for the memory. No, wait, that is the... For the... For good side. Ooh. New area. It is a horror game. Yeah, kinda. Ugh, ugh. You smell like burning bone and saliva. You smell like a fucking walking mouth and I didn't say anything. Rude. Asshole. Oh, I hate that this fucking horror music has like teeth going on the... I... Oh no, no. No, it makes this part even worse. There is a door in there, and another door in there. Why did I choose horror music? Don't want this, don't want this, no I don't want this. That guy is me right now. Where the fuck am I? Am I getting lost on, on the mouth maze? Oh, the final tooth. I can have a full mouth. It fits way too perfectly. It's fitting way too perfectly and it's just scaring me. Because I, I didn't plan for this. I just look horror ambient music. And I, I got it. And I hate it. My tooth. My tooth. Not yours. Mine. Finders keepers, losers, losers. But maybe, maybe I'll sell tooth maybe for the right price give me two point flowers eight shiny coins 16 bees 27 more bees and five chicken nuggets for each of my bees accept nothing else uh please and mm, i accept you drive hard bargain thank you you saw got Fucking bargaining, but thank you. Now what to do with all the teeth I have? Oh, there's another one there. Nice. You obtain discarded tooth. Let's see what is left. Ooh. Uh, sorry, that one is taken. Can I talk to you? Hey, buddy. Let me give you a little heads up. The tooth stalk... The tooth stalk up ahead. It's a little... Uh -huh. How do I say? Unreliable. Can count word a damn half of the time. If it gives you any problems, talk to me. I'll get you passed for a nominal fee. Yeah. I didn't get a single word you said. Oh, cool. A tooth monster. If you wish to pass, I require an offering. He acted as a kid? Yeah, probably. Eight teeth. Eight teeth. You only have six. Bring me more. More, Simon! <gasps> Feed me! God, I need to watch that movie again. Huh. 
hand behind shouldn't be here. They're stealing all the teeth. Stupid grabby hands. Sorry, I have indigestion today. <clears throat> no going through. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that answer, but sorry. Oh, look, another room. You obtained a discarded tooth. I only need one more. Eh, I tried to eat that book, but the pages cut my tongue. Eh, I wanna eat it. If you try biting on it first. Offering to help these lost souls, the lucy ones at least, has yielded a wide variety of results. Some start to cry and won't stop. Some adamantly refuse and turn hostile. And others are stunned with fear, refusing to move from where they stand. But I haven't had all bad reactions so far. I've been able to sensibly talk with a few, and they express their desire to live to not lose themselves to this point. This motivates me even more in figuring out how to win our shared plight. There are people counting on me. I can fail them nor myself. Too bad the Grim got you killed. I wonder I wonder if the Grim meets you after talking to the seeker if you don't meet the Grim first. I wonder if that's different. Oh, there is a camp in here. Hmm, the mayor isn't going to like our report. There is definitely way more lost souls popping up out there and the soul void seems to be expanding beyond what we have mapped out. Mapped out. That and we lost contact with the third outpost. Hope the others are okay. They are okay, I met them. Unless that was the first outpost. Ugh, I hate having to go through the mouth gates. I'd rather deal with handbikes than use those nasty things any day of the week. Hey, they do their best. At least they tell you when they are indigested. They don't make you go in and then go out. And I have eight teeth, so I can go through the thing. Hi. Need my help? I'll rip that stall wide open for, let's say, the low, low price of all your teeth. Oh, don't worry. I don't want the ones in your head. The ones you're, you've picked up already are fine. You hand over all the teeth. Oh, I, I wanted to give it to the the stalk. <laughs> Look at these beauties. Perfect. Alright, little miss, go on ahead. You'll find the path all clear. Thank you. I didn't mean to kill you. Sorry about that. Oh, look, it's like a maze of myself. You're disgusting. Okay, rude. Who would ever love you? Rude? Really rude. Why even show your face? That is the rudest thing I've said to myself. They all make fun of you, you know? I'm kinda getting what emotion brought our character here. Put your imperfections. Change until they love you. Nope. Oh, look, the final one. How about you take a look at yourself in a mirror? <laughs> Rude! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, you can make me. Uh, I don't want to. Too bad. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. You idiot. Nope. Nope. Fight it. Or go around. Can I go around? Cannot fight it. Okay, go back then. Oh look, a pump.
thumping hearts. The pain tube is clogged. The heart is a stitch and float. Oh, sucks. The pain tube is weak and it's, it rides wildly. Are you okay? Where are you? I to talk to you. You will enjoy the last door, I'm sure. If it is anything like this, I will love it. Ooh. Or if it has an, uh, a rich story. Anything with a, with a decent story I, I would like, probably. Nope. Nope. Not really, but yes. As long as the story is good, I, I will like it. I'm a really story-driven player, so... If the story is good enough, I will play anything. I love that this, the word the story was told. Oh, cool. The way the story was told? The way, okay. <laughs> now it makes more sense. I will talk to you in a second. Oh look, a book. I've noticed the strangest thing. The more I venture through the soul void, the more that I become at reading emotions. I once heard the term empath describe this, but I may have gotten that from a fantasy novel. If I place a hand on a lost soul, I can get a much clearer sense of their strife. Note. This should only be done with clear consent. From the lucid souls, I almost lost a, fing lost a finger, attempting to read one of the more hostile ones. Perhaps with this newfound power, I can help them remember their death, and hopefully come to terms with it. Perhaps that is the key to freeing these souls. Perhaps it is the key to my own escape. I love that he's all about consent because he almost lost a finger. Where are you? I just talk to the wall. The body suddenly twitches. Ugh, nasty. They are unresponsive. Do you think you can see the body still breathing? But it's probably your imagination. The bane tube is attached directly to their skull. Ugh, that's me. And this is taking me to the same room I saw before. Okay, who are you? Oh, what a nice surprise. I had given up hope that I would ever see another sentient being. My name has long since been lost. So you may call me the waiting. A pro... a pro I suppose? I will call you the waiting one. As I am stalking here, waiting. There is no... Oh, the waiting... Dot... Appropriate as I am stalking here. Okay. No one left this... Uh, no one left in this part of the void. No one but me. The other lost souls have all melted into the blood, the blood you wait, or congealed into the walls of flesh that cage ours and surround us. I don't know why I didn't dissolve like the rest, but I really wish I had. I'm stuck here, connected to, the, to these vein tubes that pump their blood through me without pause, and trust me, it's very unpleasant. But I'm immobile, stuck, forced to wait until someone, sort of, some sort of intervention, either frees me or destroys me. Perhaps those are one and one and the same. As far as I know, there are two major arteries that circulate blood through this area. Perhaps if these arteries were severed, the blood flow would stop. And these vein tubes will finally let me sleep. Yes, sleep for a while. 
I don't know if I can help you, but I, it never hurts to help. Another broken vein. The vein tube has them in a strange hole. Okay, that's one of the arteries. The vein tube is weak, but it breathes wildly. Can I break it? The heart is stitched and bloated. Maybe I need a weapon or something to cut the the arteries so the the waiting one can be freed. Is that a mouth? Warm air seeps from the opening. It looks like a face, actually, now that I look at it. Nasty. Nasty little thing. What about here? Nope. Check the final room before going there. Oh, this is the outpost. This is the outpost, and they are dead. They are unresponsive. Yeah. This is the third outpost they were talking about, and that they they didn't answer, and they were worried about. Cannot get in there. Shit. Well, those guys are not going back home. Is this the archery? A strange growth covers the exit. Looks soft enough to cut through. But I don't have anything to cut through. So... Let me guess, there is something to cut through in here? That looks like a knife. The figure on the wall has one eye open. But it carries no life behind its unblinking gaze. There is also a knife lodged deep in its guts. And easily you pull the knife out. You obtain a knife. I'm so sorry. The corpse is half submerged in the wall. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have to cut the two veins. Uh, the one in the entrance and the one in this room before going out, because I don't want to go out before freeing the waiting one. Are you enjoying the game? Because it's, it's kind of slow, but I, I really love the story so far. You sever the vein with your knife. And the blood stops pumping. Okay, one down, another one to go. I really hope this frees the waiting one and it doesn't kill the waiting one. Are you feeling okay? As far as I know, there are two. Perhaps these arteries, if they were severed, the blood flow will stop. And focus watching. Oh, thank you. I've been waiting almost like a year to play this, so I'm, I'm really enjoying being able to play it now. You sever the vein with your knife, and the blood stops pumping. Let's go to the waiting one and see if they are okay. Totally my type of game. Nice. I want to see you playing these types of games on, on your channel. Just play whatever you want. And uh, I want to see your opinion on, on these type of games. What? The waiting sides are closed. He's unresponsive. Oh no, the waiting is dead? Fuck. Well, he wanted to die anyway, but... Oh, that sucks. I was hoping that the Banes would probably release him and not kill him, but hey, it is what it is. Strange growth, blah blah blah, cut through it. 
Using your knife, you cut through the block the blockage. If I if I never seen it or played it before, I'll play it on my channel. I mean, the best thing about this type of games is being new to it, or loving it so much that it feels like the first time every time you play it. We went from really gory to a child's drawing, which is weirder. I feel like my worth is determined by how often I create my art. Oh, this is the artist's hell. <laughs> this is every artist's hell. Your worth is determined by your productivity. When I'm art block, I feel worthless. That's me, yeah, that's every one of us. I cannot get in the house. Oh, haha. <laughs> um, hi, ha. <laughs> Welcome uh, to my slice of the boy. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm the husk. Yeah, the husk. A husk of my former self. <laughs> I am an artist. Ha. Huh. If you can believe it. I drew this place to make the darkness. Hmm. More cozy, more bearable. <laughs> My art, it's not so good. <laughs> not that good. My inspiration, um, it's gone. Yeah, vanish. My spark, fizzled. My drive, dead. Purpose, lost. Dead like me. Lost like me. <laughs> huh. But that's okay, I think. I put a piece of me in um, all of my work. So even if I don't make any more, people might remember me still, huh? Dude, that is so relatable that hurts. That is so fucking relatable that hurts. God, I'm so sorry for you. Can I talk to you again? <laughs> sorry, I made myself a little sad. I need some time by myself, yeah? Yeah, I, I completely get it, sorry about that. Also, we are out of music, so I have to give you more music. But wow, that is so fucking relatable, that fucking hurts. It's less like stabbing me in the heart. That that conversation is deeper than anything in this game. I'm afraid people only say nice things about me and my art because they pity me. Relatable. Three mice and cheese, sharks and fish, a dog. Nice. Cool. There's a million artists better than me, so why do I even bother drawing at all? Nothing I make will ever stand out. This is getting really, really real and really deep for a second, so I want to stop and say something that someone told me a long time ago. Nothing you make will ever stand out. If it doesn't stand out, for yourself. If you don't make what you like to see and consume, no one will like it on, or consume it. Even though, even if you don't see the attractive on it, even if you are trying to make what you like, but you think it's not good enough, someone will think it's good enough. You just have to try and do what you like. And eventually someone will come. Like, for example, in these streams. It's just hard work, a lot of luck, and more hard work. And if you have connections, that's better, but that's the harder part about creating stuff. Not the bees! But yeah, the bees. My friends? Sometimes I feel like the only friends I have 
or the ones I've made up in my head. But I want real friends too. I'm just scared of what they will think of me. If you don't go out and you don't look for them, they will never come to you. It's really hard, but you have to do an effort. God, this part is really deep. This part is probably the deepest part of the game. Is this a river? Yeah, it is a, a cabin on a river. I want to bring others joy with what I create, but it's hard to do so when I feel miserable inside. Yeah, but what if someone smiles? Wouldn't that make you feel better? Even though you're feeling miserable when you are making something. Would anyone miss me if I was gone? Probably more people than you would think they would miss you. I kind of think that no one would. But maybe at last they will remember my art. Not only your art, they will remember you. And they will miss you. They will probably say it sucks because their art was good, but... The art is good because the person behind it usually is. Hey, Kaiju, welcome to the stream. It probably feels so real because it's the most straightforward. Yeah, this is not metaphors. This is straight up a depression. Oh, shit. I, I went to where I had to go and I didn't want to. We've seen every mistake you've made. Oh, that, that's reassuring. I speak Spanish. And as you can see, this stream is in English. So, yeah. I'm sorry I'm not speaking Spanish right now. We remember. They remember. Don't you remember how embarrassing you were? Thank you for speaking in English. We'll replay your mistakes over and over and over again. Don't you wish this was you? No face? No worry. I wish I could go- Oh my god, I don't have a face now. Shit. The lengths you will go to feel like a hero. Like your actions matter at all. What's the worst that could happen? If you tore your face right off. Undertale but for the NES, I mean Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. Also, welcome to the stream, Amber. Good to see you. Uh, but yeah, this this game is really... Feels like Undertale-ish. And in GB style. I like my face, I don't want to lose it. I don't really like my face, but I don't want to peel it off. So, yeah, no, thank you. Just take a razor. No, don't do that. Strip it clean. No, don't do it. You'll feel better. No, you won't. You will be bleeding and that's not good. God, that is disgusting. Oh, wow. I'm a walking face. Or a walking torso without a face. I don't even have a head. They don't talk. I love the art. Yeah, me too. Good to see you too. I really enjoy these types of color palettes. It's incredible what you can do with three or four colors. I cannot talk to any of them. I mean, I don't have a face or a head or a mouth, so I understand it, but... Fix yourself with plastic. Fix yourself with blood. Fix your eyes, your teeth, your hair, your brain, your skin, your skull. Or don't ever bother showing your face again. Yeah, or you can go fuck yourself. I have a face again, nice. Hey, you got the stuff? The hat, the stuff, that hat stuff. Yes? Hey, <laughs> yeah, you got that stuff, all right? Go ahead and wear that stuff. Not in the water, though. 
hot stuff, not waterproof. I can wear the hat now? Oh, I shouldn't be wearing the hat, probably. Beast was around a flower patch. For some reason, you take them with you. You attain the beast. Not the beast! There is people that I should probably talk to. I can go back. Okay, I can go back. I made it all the way back to town once in you know, a After I realized there was nothing for me out there. But they wouldn't let me in. They said I was dangerous. But I'm not. I'm not dangerous. I I can't help that I'm here any more than they can. <sighs> I get it, but that doesn't make it less uh, hurtless. The townsfolk are scared of what I might become, but I, I am too, maybe even more than them. I just want to feel safe, you know? Over the past few weeks of investigation, I've come to form a hypothesis. This void is a place between life and death and it has its own native denizens that I know for a fact that I know for a fact I theorize that when souls get pulled away from the light and dragged down here the void rejects them given that they should be, shouldn't be here and this realm doesn't know how to handle their unfamiliar existence once one could say a lost soul will eventually be compelled to search for an escape from this place, leading them out uh, here to the Beyondlands, to the Soul Void, to find answers. Okay. But they get stuck, unable to leave. First, in an attempt to and rectify the situation, the Void will try to draw them from to draw the, from their essence, to create a place where they belong, in a landscape where they very much don't. This, however, almost never works well, as the void picks up on their strong negative energy and builds their surroundings based on that. The soul will then, after a time, mutate, and the severity of which varies, varies with each individual. I believe this is the general process, but it begs for questions I've yet to figure out. How? Are souls getting dragged into the void? Why are only traumatized souls coming here? I believe the answer must lie with the green. A soul so consciously malicious must have higher understanding of these pred predicaments compared to the average lost. I will study it more. Note, I've been feeling a little off kilter in a way I can fully describe. I must hasten my research. Is this a good place? Because we've seen a lot of places in the void. I feel so much better here. I feel like myself. I don't want to leave. But I can stay here forever, can I? Uh, no, you shouldn't. And I was thinking that this was a good place, but it's not. After talking to them? And seeing that answer, no, this is not the good place. This is the bad place. There is some kind of museum here. I don't really understand what's inside it. But I guess I just don't get modern art. What about you? Hey, you didn't happen to come from a sort of um, blood cave, did you? I was stationed in a post there, but suddenly everything sort of freaked out. A bunch of Bane tubes started to ugh, assimilate lost souls. My bodies and I ran, but in the commotion, we got separated. I hope they made it out okay. Mm. Yes, they are perfectly fine. They are okay. They they are not dead on the camp. Oh, cool! A heart, a letter, a ring. Am I supposed to get all these objects? And I didn't get them. A garbage can. It's a picture of the husk. Take a look. Yes. 
Oh, cool! This is the art section. We can see all the all the art of the game in here. Nice. A picture of the waiting. Take a look. Yeah. Our old pal, the waiting. Rest in peace. Picture of the green. Take a look. Oh uh, no, not yet. Picture of the seeker. Take a look. Yeah. We have your hat. Rip the waiting. Yeah, rip the waiting. Sad that he never made it out. It's a picture of the mayor. Take a look. Yeah. Pretty much every single creature we've met in this place that had a picture. Really? Even with everything that's going on, you still find time to take the trash? Come on, dude. Somehow the frame is filled with a static. Hmm. Static again. More static. People are streaming. You let a lost soul rest. A lost soul wishes for company. A lost soul feels down about their work. Yeah, I think this is different missions that you have to do on the game. To help a lost soul feel free. Yeah, I somehow did these two, but I missed these two. To deliver a letter from a worry for a worried mother. A lost soul fears they've been forgotten. A lost soul is starving. A lost soul has lost their friend. The image depicts three non-copyrighted red and white balls. Three Pokeballs? Three red uh, and white balls non-copyrighted? Seriously? Oh, this is a Humanity reference. It's a painting of a girl with brown braids. She appears to be holding a knife. There is a picture of two skeletons. One seems to be telling a joke, but you cannot get the bones of it. One's eating a spaghetti. <laughs> the other seems to be asleep. Oh my god, the references. Yeah, thank you, Kalabura. Our new exhibit will be installed soon. When the others have been completed. Oh. Kalabura was playing these three games when sh when they made this game. Feel free to come back and interact with it when it arrives. Thank you. Oh my god, that is so nice. Oh, I didn't check the, the picture of the thing. The green. Hi. You are all teeth. Man, I only completed like three missions out of six. Out of eight. Oh, that sucks. Well, a reason to replay the game. Are you the the buying cat that I help feel pretty? I used to be a wandering lost soul myself, consumed by darkness and repetitive wounding thoughts. But one day I met the strangest fellow, one who wore a silly little top hat of sorts. And he took the time to just talk to me, listen to my woes or what I could convey of them. Our talk was short, but it left an impression. Because of him, I made an effort, one to change the way I thought of myself. It was hard, it was so incredibly hard, but little by little, I changed my habits. I regained part of myself. My sense began to return ever so gradually, and the soul void sprouted this field around me. 
The green seems to be blinded from this place, as it radiates no sadness for it to be fed on. Thus, be it has become somewhat of a safe haven for those who have found it. As long as I'm here, the field will persist. Don't say that you're calling the green to kill you. Nice teeth. I wonder who it, who it is, the dentist. Of the green? Eh, probably they will have. Something tells me that the green doesn't have a dentist. I, I, I wonder that they steal the teeth from someone else. I will guard it until I have no reason to. Until that awful beast is gone. Oh, that's... At least you're still alive. I, I was thinking that the Grim was come, going to come here and kill you before you ended your speech. Don't go. Don't go. Oh my god, that's scary as all fuck. I knew that place wasn't nice. False positivity is never nice. Flowers have stopped growing after here. They can't guide you anymore. You either are positive or force yourself to be positive, but you cannot fake positivity. That's even worse than being negative. You. You made it here? Listen. Listen to me, please, before I lose myself completely. Escaped it, the green for now, but it's hunting me, trying to bring me back. I can't, I won't let it. I can't lose myself. Please, please, while I distract it, please find it. Its face is just a projection, its real self elsewhere, locked away. Destroy it, please. You may be our only hope left. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry for putting this on you. I should be saving you, not the other way around. Also, thank you for the posture check, because I was getting a really bad posture. I've been streaming for two and almost a half hours, so... Ah, it's nice to stretch every now and then. I... Wait, are you wearing my hat? Seeker, where are you? I have to go. I'll keep it away from you. We'll meet again, I promise. Well, away you go. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. They all think I'm an idiot. Just shut up, shut up, shut up. If the secret dies, I will cry. If the secret dies, I will start the game and destroy the fucking thing, the, the Grim. Because if the secret dies, I think that's a bad ending. Oh fuck, I didn't want to go to the right. I wanted to talk to this thing. Stop going to the right and talk to the thing. Ah, lost my friend. Scared. Don't want to be alone. Friend, where are you? Probably one of these. Chomp chomp. Snap snap. No. Are these things the ones that took the, the finger of the Seeker? What <laughs> the fuck? I hate this. Yeah, no, wow. No wonder why you are melting into the floor. My cats want to eat, be right back. Feed the cat. Feed, the, uh, feed him, Seymour. Feed them. I, I don't know if it is a him or a she. End it, end it, end it. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. 
I always forget that this music is not from the game and it's really going well with the game. Oh! It watches you with curiosity. A word occasionally flashes on the screen. Oculum. Static kisses from the eye. Something about this place isn't quite right. You hear the sound of a man talking through a fierce wave of static. Static kisses from the eye. Is there something I can do in here? Or is it me just talking to them? Oh, weird. There is a lot of blood everywhere, but I don't want to deal with that now. Is that an alien? One walk left, one walk up. Two walks right, two walks down. Two walks right. Okay. What, what and who are you? Well, aren't you a rare sight? A fully functioning, non-mutated thing all the way out here, who wouldn't guess, who would have guessed it was possible. Call me the leech, everyone does. Well, by everyone I mean myself, and now you too. Seems appropriate for what I've done. Got time for a little story? Call it a hunch, but I think you might be interested. I used to hang around the green, a long, long time ago. At least, it feels that way. I don't know how long I've really been here, but one day might as well be an eternity. Anyways, we met back when we were both new wandering souls. Back before I understood how I had gotten here, back when, I, when the both of us still had legs, <laughs> I was, as you can imagine, terrified. I latch onto the Grim, as he seemed so confident, despite our predicament. I asked him how he kept his composure, even when the other lost souls around us were starting to mutate and lose themselves. His nightly remarked that their suffering was keeping him sane. And grounded is playable now, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Microsoft. I, I didn't think about that. Boop. That he was feeding on their misery and growing stronger from it. I was desperate, so I asked him to teach me so I could be strong too. I was so scared of ending up like the others that I would have done anything to stay safe, and I did. I guess the Grim thought I would be it would be funny to humor me, and so I learned how to consume the suffering's uh, negative energy. It was fun for a while until I really sunk in. What I was doing, that is, a pain I was indulging in, I had a change of heart, and I made my second biggest mistake telling the Grimm about it. He ditched me here, in the expanse, and since I refused to leech anymore, I finally ended up turning into this. Unfortunately, my mind didn't melt like the others. Oh, you're back. Meet the leech. She was a friend of the Grimm, and she's telling us that uh, the green feeds on negative energy and she asked the green to teach her how to do it 
but after doing it for a while she felt bad. She told the Grimm and the Grimm left her behind. She's my type, lol. <laughs> I'm stuck with the guilt of my actions. I wish I could make up for what I've done, but I'm stuck here. You, however... The Grimm thinks he's strong, untouchable, but he's not. He will crumble at the first sign of confrontation. But the problem is actually getting to him. He's locked himself behind a door that requires three keys to open. I'll get them and end this misery, uh, and end this myself. But I, like I said, I'm stuck. I'm sure you can find them though. Just look for the breaks in the darkness. Please, break this cycle of misery he's made before it's too late. Okay, so. Two to the right and two right and two down. Oh, ah, lost friend. Nothing here, so scary. Scared without friend. Please take me back to friend. You obtained leech lit. Nice. I can take you back to your friend, yes? Are you one of the keys? My dear, my dear. I didn't come back. I'm so sorry. Do you still have my promise and my ring? Oh, this is the guy that gave the ring to the lady in the beginning. I hope you haven't forgotten me. I didn't forget you. My dear, my dear. I broke my promise. Please don't be mad. I'm sorry. You ask if, it, uh, if the being's name is James. And a hint of recognition gleams in his eyes. You say their loved one still has the ring, and they haven't forgotten about him. They are not mad that they that he didn't come back, but worried for his safety, and that they still love him very much. Something akin to tears wells on his in his eyes. My dear, my dear, you still love me, even as I am a wreck. Please don't worry. I'll come back, back to you. I promise, I promise. Thank you, kind stranger, for letting me know. Okay. Here, your friend. You returned the leechless friends. Ah, best friend is back. Thank you. Feel much better when not alone. Another mission done. Nice. Okay, so you said two walks right, two walks down. So one right, one right, and one down. I haven't met you before. Can I talk to anyone else in here? It isn't worth it. Okay. Isn't caring about others so exhausting? Who cares about their feelings? As long as you survive. You are such an asshole. And another one down. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Nope, that's not the path. Oh, I start to see it. I kind of start to see it now. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Not seeing the walls is, is a bit of a pain. There is a labyrinth like this on Jumaniki, but at least when you hit the walls, you can see them. Gotta go. Thank you for the streaming. Thank you for coming to the stream, Amber. Good to see you here. Hope you have fun today, or 
I hope it is an easy task you have to do. Whatever. Hope you have a nice day. Careful. And now down. And now to the right. You obtain stuff there. Wow. Wow, that's disgusting. Wow, that is so many broken stuff bears. Oh, stuff animals. And the final one has blood, so I don't think it was a stuff animal. Keys, I think I have it. The Grim's presence has made a sort of net over the boys, you could say. As long as he's here, none of us can leave. Even if we've made peace with ourselves, no one deserves to leave this misery forever. Not even the Grim. One walk left, one walk up. And you where? Two walks right. Only two walks right, but two walks right takes me to the the ring guy. Is there something in here that I can take? Maybe after this? Mm, yeah, maybe this. Oh, you have to follow what the scarecrow is telling you down, I guess? Question mark? Yes, it was that. You obtained a glass bottle. Wow, creepy. Kalabura, I seriously don't know what you're trying to convey in here, but I love it. Uh, one left, one up. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Not in here. My head feels so heavy. Why can I see right? Sometimes art does not make sense and I like that. Yeah. But I also love to understand how things work and it's driving me crazy not understanding everything about this game. All around the mulberry bush, the leeches chase the lost souls, the, lo the souls all thought it was all in fun. Pop! Go to the lost souls. Oh, spiders. Well, or... Yeah, no, I don't like that. What or who are you? It doesn't recognize your presence. It merely sob into itself. Okay. Bugs. Who doesn't like bugs? Cool. A maze of faces. Nope. Oh, you can push them? Oh, it's that type of puzzle. Ugh. I love it and I hate it. Uh, you go up, you go left. It's not that difficult, but at the same time I don't really like it. Is it... Am I stuck in here? I'm... I can deal with a fucking centipede, I hate him. Yeah, yeah, centipedes are the worst. Okay, I cannot go up, can I? Nope, stuck in there. Can I go out? Thank you. Okay, so you go up, you go left. 
you go up, you go right, up, right. Can you go up? Yes, you can. Okay, that's what I did wrong. A broken family portrait. Is this what the Grimm is trying to hide? Because we're seeing broken uh, stuffed animals and blood, which means that they probably killed a real animal. We are seeing a lot of bottles on a hanging swing. And we are seeing a broken family portrait and blood around it. Back in Venezuela, I had problems with those demons. They can go and burn in hell. I haven't seen many centipedes in here, but I still hate them. I kind of see the background on the story of the green and why the green would feed on bad emotions. Seeing if this is the path of the green, I kind of understand why it would feel it would feed on bad emotions, but I hate it. I have the three keys. Please don't let don't mind the leeches. They appear shortly after I got stuck. But there is not a mean tooth in their body. I could I can say the same for some of the other leeches that showed up here. Yeah, can I? Aren't those the three keys you needed? Can I can I go up or somewhere? Ooh, a new place. Why are you on the floor? So hungry. Ate everything I could find. Still hungry. Too weak to move. Sometimes my friend here can get real moody. If he hasn't eaten in quite a while. Absolutely refuses to speak. If he's being a stubborn, I'll pass along. Anything you may have to help him. Do I have any food for the for this person in here? No, I don't have any food, but I think this is the place where I have to use the keys. You place the broken frame. Anything else? Only a broken frame. Oh, you have to put them in order. You place the stuff there. You place the glass bottle and you go back because you want to explore the rest of the place without having to face the green just yet. Oh, well, it seems that I explore everything so I have to face the green. You have a strong feeling that you won't be able to return once you go through. Open the door. Uh, stay out. If they are warning me that I might not be able to go back. I might want to go back and check if there is anything else I can do. Oh, voices. Who doesn't like voices on random YouTube music? I think there is a, all these rooms are people I needed to help, but I couldn't help them when I should have, and now they are just rooms with weird people. Like for example, the one saying that who cares about everyone else, uh, I think that one is the eyeball person that I couldn't help in the beginning of the game. Or the hungry one. At some point I should probably have gotten any of the food, fr probably from the farmer. I worry for that man, the seeker. I believe it was... He puts helping others over his own well-being. 
A noble cause, but sometimes there is only so much you can do for someone before you collapse yourself. I do not know if I can, if we can die as a contained here, but I pray he does not meet that fate. I hope you do not either. I hope for us all. I wonder if the museum is different now, because we kind of help James with uh, the problem it has. You assuage a lost soul's fear. Yeah. You deliver the letter. You help a lost soul feel pretty. You let a lost soul rest. A lost soul wishes company. A lost soul feels drowned about their work. Wait, a lost soul wishes for company? Isn't that the leech? Didn't I help the leech? Also, is any one of these different now that I help? Static, static... Oh, it's a picture of the leech. Yeah, so I'm missing two characters with a picture. A picture of the sticker. Nice. I'm missing one character, which I guess it's probably the... The green, but not the smile. The actual green. Uh, feels down about their work. This is the... The husk. And I hope, I really hope I could have helped the, the husk. You reunited two friends, the leeches. Okay, so the one feeling alone is a different one. And the hungry, starving soul. So I still have a couple more missions that I could do. And places I haven't visited before. I've never seen anyone enter or leave that house. But it always smells like fresh baked cookies. Weird. Cool. What is in the trash? Hey, sorry if I've been kind of rude. I'm trying to learn how to be nicer. Still, not giving you an item though. Asshole. There is freshly baked cookies on this table, and a sign that says, please only take one. Happily, you oblige. Nice. You obtain a cookie. Another one appears in its place. Okay. Can I tell the person that there are cookies in there? I've never seen blah blah blah. No. Okay. So we can help the starving person, but we cannot help the lonely one? Where is the lonely one, anyway? There is one that is lonely, but I don't know which one is it. But we can help the starving one, at least. I really like that this is not random. I will have hate if everything in here was random. Because I tend to get lost a lot. So imagine if everything is randomized, how lost I will get. Soul hungry ate everything is still hungry. You hand the lost soul a cookie. For me, the lost soul devours the cookie in one bite. Though you can quite tell how as you can't see any discernible mouth on them. Tastes like memories. Memories of home. Still hungry. But I appreciate your kindness. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, still hungry. I like to think our friendship is the reason why the he hasn't tried to munch on me yet. But I think it's only because he can reach me from there. It's your friendship. It's the friendship. But seeing everything in here, and that everything has a munch on them... Yeah, I don't see anything else where I can help. I don't know if I can help anything or anyone else. Around here I help James, but I don't know if I can help anyone else. So I'm going to take a final look 
to see if I can find anything, but I don't think I will. This is new. Don't make me angry. Can you help the husk? I wish I could, but it doesn't let me go back. And it would love to, but it doesn't let me go back to the husk. Don't make me angry. There was a couple of rooms that I didn't check on the husk area because I, I went forward without wanting to and he hated because I could have probably helped the husk. Don't make me angry. Okay, whatever. God. So scared to move. Don't want to accept them. Can I do something to help here? Doesn't look like it. Well, uh, away I go. Make them angry? I could probably do that, yeah. Nothing else up there, okay. What about the small ones? Can I move the small ones to the bigger ones? No? Don't make me angry. I'm trying to make you angry, but you don't move, you asshole. No, they don't move at all. Man, three hours. That is, it, it's going for longer than I, than I wanted to, but... I really want to see the ending of this. Oh god, I hate that I cannot help the husk or or this one in here, but oh, I, I want to see the ending of the game, even if it is not the real ending. But maybe I left items behind that I needed for some of the some of the quests in here. It feels like th that way at least. Yeah, open the door. No, 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 no. I see what you're trying to do. With that damnable seeker out of the way, I can focus on my biggest problem. You. What a pain you've turned out to be. Just like you've always been, huh? Well, I don't care anymore. I'll use every bit of my strength to warp this whole void in on itself. If that's what it takes to keep you here forever, these pathetic souls are just small fry now. It's you that I want warm. Just lie down, give up already. Or not, you can go fuck yourself. Okay. I don't speak, whatever that is, but... Okay. Oh, I love how everything looks glitched now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kadabura made such a nice job with the aesthetic of this game. <laughs> this looks like a Pokemon trainer. In fact, all this part reminds me of the uh, Lavender Town glitch. Oh look, it's the, the one that wanted to, to eat teeth. All screaming, nice. What about you, Sprite? Can I go somewhere? Probably not here. Can I go down? Yes, yes I can, okay. Where should I go? The door. Ob 
obviously. Obviously not. Not to the right. What about left? Oh, look! He's back on the painting area. Worthless, worthless, worthless. I think all these areas are broken because there are areas that I help people, but since I never finished the husk area. I want to go home, please, please. I think I broke the safe haven. Yeah, sorry about your haven. What's going on? Uh, might be my fault. Don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Oh no, no, no. How is this possible? Am I responsible? Uh, Risp? This is all but gone. I can't find this corruption for too much longer. Sorry, I will try to fix it as soon as I can. Please say sad, dude. Chip, chip! No, no, not the sad you, crow. Oh, please give me an item. Please, please be the one to give me an item. F fuck you! The trash can spits out an item. It's completely unidentifiable, but you have an item. You're welcome. You did it. Yay, you got an item. <laughs> Are you happy now? No, no, no. This wasn't supposed to happen. You're the mayor. The Grim said it wouldn't mess with us if I... You were feeding people to the mess, uh, to the Grim? You asshole. It's you. Listen, I did what I had to do, okay? I know it was wrong, but you have to understand. I needed to keep my citizens safe. As long as I kept the lost souls out of town and in the soul boy, the Grim said it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt us. And I guess that promise uh, means nothing now. I'm sorry. I'm really am. If we survive this, I swear, I will do everything in my power to help the lost. I mean it. You better, you asshole. You sold everyone out. Can I talk to that one? No, it doesn't seem that I can talk to them. I really wasn't expecting the mayor to sell people out, but at the same time it doesn't surprise me. Ooh, where am I? Home, my home. Okay. The mirrors again. This notebook seems older than the other ones you've seen prior. I remember how I died now. The boy showed me. I remember the fire, the burning rubber, the explosion, the shards of glass, the asphalt on the onlookers. Their cries, my cries? If I didn't jump in to help, maybe I would have still I would still be alive. They died anyways, I didn't save anyone, but maybe I have a second chance here. I can save these souls. And make up for my past failure. I have to. Oh, so that's why the seeker the seeker was seeking someone to help. Okay, okay. God, Kalabura. No, you killed the seeker! You fucking monster! Please be alive, please be alive, you No. I failed. Failed, 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 failed. You look at what's left of the seeker, scared and unsure of how to help. He seems transfixed on his words, and unresponsive to the world around him. The only thing you can do, you can think of doing, is to give back the seeker's back uh, what he's lost, the hat. You set down the seeker's hat. The seeker's babbling stop. And he looks to you with some hint of recognition. Through, though he doesn't speak further. Oh no. <sighs> God. 
God, I, I really was expecting the Seeker to be alive, but... God... Why are you fighting so hard to live now? Didn't you used to fantasize about this? About being lost in the dark? Where no one would have to look at you again? What's with this change of heart? Go back! Lie down, dissolve into the nothingness that you are. Or you can, I don't know, go fuck yourself. A shattered mirror. You percep your perception of yourself is distorted. I, I didn't notice that throughout the game. Shattered mirror. And despite everything, it's still you. Fine. You've come all this way to see me. So let's have a nice little talk. I'll tell you all about myself. Yeah, this is not yourself. This is who you are pretending to be. It was the first lost soul here. It was headed for the light. But I turned around, slid through the darkness, and landed in this void. Why did I turn around? I didn't want to move on. I wanted revenge. Yeah, and... Pain I felt in my life. I wanted to make others suffer the same misery I had. The longer I stayed in here, constantly relieving my pain, the stronger I became. Eventually, I could pull other souls off their path and bring them here. The hurt, the broken, the weak. They were so easy to pick off. Little did I know. They were the perfect targets. The boy did hard work for me. And I devoured and the results. Okay. <laughs> the more they wrote in here, anguish, the more I feasted. And the more powerful I became. The more and more I took. More and more and more I grew. More and more and more they hurt. You are a fucking asshole. Her pain was delicious. And it brought me joy. It brought me strength. But then I thought to myself. Why settle for these measly old souls? Why not break the living? And guess what? I was just strong enough. To grab one living human soul, I sunk my fangs into you, worm, and brought you here. Yeah, well. What a coward you are! What a pitiful wretch! Unworthy of existence! You are sad, depressed, you, are, you hate yourself? Don't make me laugh! You know but a fraction! Of the true pain, I couldn't wait to watch your mind and heart truly die. Feasting on living humans, anguish would make me unstoppable. Omnipotent, omniscient, I will drag the whole world here. And make all of humankind suffer. Yep, I'm still winning. Not playing your game. At least that's what I thought. She just had to be so stubborn, huh? She just had to keep going, even helping others on the way. Are you winning, son? Yeah, I'm fucking winning. Even if you got nothing in return, just give up, give up, give up. It's so much easier to give up. Why won't you give up? Why do you keep trying? Just stop! What are you trying to prove? That you are better than me, stronger than me? You're not. You're not, you're not, you're not, not you, not anyone, so turn around. Stop, stop. Yep, keep trying. So there you are. Stubborn brat. Fine. If this is how it is, then here I am. No more tricks. No more illusions. Just us. Even if I get rid, if you get rid of me now, 
I'll never really leave, you know? Yeah, and what about it? What I've done here, what I've said. Yeah, what? It will always linger in the back of your mind. It will control your every thought. Uh, so can you really call this a victory? I'm winning, dude. You look at the creams in the eyes. And Amanda, you respond. Yes, yes I can. And you can control me. Ha! <laughs> Funny. You're still just a pathetic worm. But you're stubborn. I'll give you that. We'll see how long that lasts. I guess this is a goodbye, girly. But don't you forget. When you relapse again, I will fight tooth and nail to come back. And I will drag you back down here with me. Along with all the miserable friends you've made. It's personal now. Enjoy your break while you can. And goodbye. Hey, can you hear me? Please be the seeker. Yes, the seeker is alive! Thank goodness. You've been asleep for quite a while. Surprised to see me, huh? When I came to my senses, I found you pass out not too far away. I carried you back to the town, picking up a few lost souls along the way. You filled me in on everything that happened. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay now. You faced it, didn't you? The Grim. You were able to chase it out of this place. And with it, where is corruption? Maybe it will come back, but for now, things are slowly returning to how they were. And the veil keeping the lost souls were here is lifting, allowing them to pass on. What about me? I'll be going too, eventually. But I'm going to stay behind until I know that everyone else has safely crossed over. Thank you for everything you've done. I know you didn't want to be here in the first place, but thank you for m not giving up on us. For not giving up on yourself. Thank you for being alive, dude. Thank you, and by the way, for giving me my hat back. I'm not sure how I even got it, got it in the first place, but I've grown quite fond of it during my stay. Seeing it again when it, when I was incapacitated, it helped me hold on to some shred of self sense. Nice, glad you liked your back, uh, your hat back. <laughs> oh my god! You have to you have to see this. How does this count as a single word? God, I cannot even, I cannot even show you the message because it is too long. It is way too long. Shit. Can I? Can I show you the message? Oh, I cannot show you the first message. Well, I can show you this one. If the thing lets me do it. Oh my god. Oh. Yep, the highlighter is broken. I think the highlighter is broken. I cannot show you the, any message. I'm too emotional for a highlight. <laughs> Yep, it is broken. You broke it, uh, Odi. So, <laughs> good job <laughs> breaking the highlighter. Oh my god, I cannot believe the the goddamn seeker is alive. So things are gonna go back to normal, huh? That's good to hear. All of this was just a little bit, um, just a little too much excitement for me. Can I? Can you? Thank you. I finally faced my fears and crossed the darkness. I made it into the town. But I guess it doesn't mean much now. 
since I'll be leaving soon anyways. Still, we should be happy for even the smallest, uh, smallest picture, right? Yesterday I broke the stream and today I broke the highlight. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I don't know what is it with you and technology, but you, you love breaking it. So glad we can all breathe a sigh of relief now. I wonder how the void's going to change though, without all the loss in it. The Beyondlands might just go back to being weird. Weird geometry without all the suffering of it. It is really time to go? Really, really? It seems so. Hmm. Maybe I can take a creative break now. Yeah. One nice long break, huh? Without worry for once. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Yay! The husk is okay. We also helped the husk by defeating the the green. I've been in this void for so long that it feels almost uncom uncomfortable to be living. Is that weird to say? I guess I've become so familiar with this place that going into the unknown seems scarier than staying here. I was number one on my class about tech. <laughs> Maybe that's why you are so good at breaking it. So happy to be free. Happy you're happy with it. It's okay. It's going to be okay after all. Of course it's going to be okay. Even the farthest lost of the souls farthest lost of the souls are recovering. Now that the green is no longer hanging around. There is hope for everyone out there, huh? I'm so glad they are all okay. Even the husk. I felt so bad about leaving the husk behind. I was trying to repair it, not to break it. You need to know how to break something in order to repair it. What about you? Are you going away? A oh, little one. I'm glad to see you are safe. Did you find the answers you were looking for? Or perhaps the answers you didn't know you needed? Perhaps the strength you didn't know you had all along. All this time. Sometimes we forget what we are capable of. I hate how loud the TV is right now. God damn it. Um, through the distract distortion of our thoughts. Uh, but what do I know? I am just a projection of the void. Bound to its ever shifting waters. Perhaps I speak nonsense. It is up to you po to put weight to the words you hear. Stay safe, little one. Be at peace. Well, it was good to meet you, Lighthouse. Hope I will see you around. Anyone else in here that I have to talk to? Yeah. Man, it feels like I've been in a daze. Last thing I remember is making a delivery. Then I suddenly woke up here. In my boathouse? But it's completely run down, huh? I think I'll clean it up a bit. Then I quit this job. It was nice to, uh, a nice distraction for a while, but I think I'm ready to go now. I'm glad everyone is happy and going away. Oh look, it's you! Oh, hey, you're back. You just, like, completely made my job irrelevant, Nate. Uh, with no souls falling down here, there is no one to greet, but don't worry. The boy slapped me with a new job, which is to shuffle the lost souls back on their path now that they can see the light again. I guess instead of the greeter, I'm the... the goer? The leaper? 
the god out of here? <laughs> wow, all of those are awful. But enough about that. This is about you. You ready to head on out? No, I still have people to talk to. Alright, just give me a holder when you're ready. I, w I thought this was not the path forward. I thought that I had to talk to the mayor to finish this, but no. It seems that I have to talk to the get out of here to finish the game. Get out of here doesn't sound like a nice name for a job. They really need a better name for their job. Things are going back to normal, blah blah blah. Oh, but if everything is going back to normal, the crow that said sad dude is going back to normal too. Oh. Man, am I glad to have the town back to normal. You know the friend I picked flowers with? She was actually a lost soul. I felt bad about her not being allowed in town, so I... I had visit. I would visit her every day, and I would just hang out with her so she wouldn't be so lonely. She found the light almost immediately after the green vanish, and she moved on. I'm gonna miss her, but I'm glad she can finally rest now. Thank you for that. You're welcome, dude. Everyone deserves flowers. When the soul boy quiets down again. The outpost will become obsolete. I guess my job as a scout is done. I hope they let uh, they let me keep the hat. <laughs> the leechlets are blocking the way. Hey, well, they are friends with each other. They are happy now. You, you son of a bitch. Well, you daughter of a bitch. So it's really over, is it? This whole nightmare of a situation? It's over now, thanks to you. Don't worry. I don't plan on going back on my promise. The outpost teams are rounding up all the lost souls to safely bring them back to the town, where they can comfor comfortably wait to pass on. I do feel terrible for what I did, but, well, it's no use stewing on in re me my regret. I'll take action to fix what I've done and learn from it in the future. If anything uh, like this happens again, we'll keep the laws safe, I promise. Your job here is done, right? Go get some rest, you deserve it. Thank you. I really deserve a break. I've been streaming for three and almost a half hours. This game is way, way longer than I expected it to be. By uh, Lighthouse, I I never got to know their name, but hmm. I will call them the Lighthouse. Ready to go out? I'm ready. All right, then without further ado, on behalf of all the Void and all its residents, wake up. The computer is being left on all night. A collection of assorted junk. A couple of fantasy novels. Crumpled up notes litter the bin. You think that perhaps you won't add any more to the pile? You should probably take this cup downstairs. Eventually. Hey look, it's Nea's room. A pile of clothes is shoved in the corner. Yeah, it's definitely in the astro. He plays a hand on the doorknob, but hesitates. Uh, squaring your shoulders, and with a deep breath, it's my room. <laughs> no, your room has a painting on the wall. You open the door and exit your room. And thank you for playing. So the game is done. It's over. 
Whew. This was something else. My God. Thank you. Thank you, Ori. Oh my God. And I didn't even check everything there was to it. There, there were a couple of missions that I didn't finish. Whew. Kalabura. You boss. You absolute boss. I loved everything. Every second about this game. I loved it. So thank you. Thank you for making the game. I can't wait to see what else you can make. So I hope you enjoyed the game. If you enjoyed the game, go check Kalabura on Tumblr. It's this name in here. Go check them on Tumblr. And I hope I will see you on the next stream. So until then, see ya.